so I thought I'd have a go just to show. So I did just animated him, you know, this soldier guy going behind these different things, and also, but then I also you, I had two two versions, one with them holding up the gun, and one with them lowering the gun, and then so I I have got two FBXs, and I'm just mixing between them in um in the linear editor thing. Um, as you see there, look as he drops his gun. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, you could do a, a depressed walk and a happy walk and you could mix between them or something like that, you know, or, or several different, you know, ver variations of what, how you want to ch change the state of the, the mind of the, of the, of the character, right? And so I also, I did some, you know, actual, and this just took, I think I did, this took me, uh, the camera work took me more longer than to set up the animation. I mean, it was just like, I think in all, I spent about 20 minutes doing this. So, I mean, I know it's not mind blowing, but it's just, it's, it's pretty good for, um, you know, and oops, the camera goes a bit mental. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, really quick. Um, so yeah, that's my, the sort of new takeaway is that you can, you can mix between, you know, to try different, different moods and whatever, and then just bake each FBX down to its own linear uh what does it call it non-linear animation track or action and then just mix between it if you know if any other characters suddenly get injured or something um so yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with that um for how quickly it is to do um that was it